Uh, good day and welcome. Uh, let's see how to solve this algebraic problem and let's crack the code of this uh, problem. The question is very simple and uh, very tricky, but let's see how to solve this step by step. Mind you, don't skip any stage. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is um, we write x raised to the power of 1 divided by 3, everything raised to the power 2, which is the same thing as the first one, minus x raised to the power of 1 over 3, minus 6 equals to 0. So at this stage, we have a common x raised to the power of 1, 1 over 3, and we are going to let uh, x raised to the power of 1 over 3 to the n alphabet, I'm choosing a letter, letter n. So anywhere we see x raised to the power 1 over 3, we replace it uh, with letter n. So here we have n raised to the power 2 minus n minus 6 equals to 0. And here is a quadratic equation. So we are going to solve this uh, using the quadratic formula. And here uh, we have the quotient of any square to be 1, quotient of any to be negative 1, and the constant is 6. So here we have a equals to 1, b equals to negative 1, and c equals to negative 6. So we will go by writing this quadratic uh, formula. And since we are dealing with variable n, so we write n minus b plus or minus uh, the root of b square minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And anyway, we see all these parameters, we are going to insert it in these equations. And n equals to uh, b is negative 1 plus or minus the root of bracket uh, minus 1 square. Uh, negative 4 bracket a is 1 and c is negative 6 all divided by 2 bracket 1 which is the value of a so let's start evaluating this minus times minus is plus we have 1 plus or minus the root of negative 1 square that is 1 and minus times minus is plus and 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 6 that is 24 and all divided by 2 and here we have uh, n equals to 1 plus or minus and the root of 1 plus 24 that is 25 divided by 2 and the next step is by uh, taking the root of 25 which is a perfect square and we have 1 plus or minus 5 divided by 2 and the next step is we are going to split it based on positive and the negative here we have 1 plus 5 divided by 2 or we have 1 minus 5 divided by 2. And 1 plus 5 here is 6. Uh, 6 divided by 2. Or 1 minus 5 is negative 4 divided by 2. And 2 in 6, that is 3. Or 2 in negative 4, that is negative 2. Here are the two values for n. So since it's a quadratic, we must get two values. And uh, from what we let as s raised to power of uh, for what we let as s is to the power of 1 divided by n. So at n equals to uh, 3, we are going to put it in what we let. So as s is to the power of 1 over 3 equals to n. So anywhere we see n, we replace it with 3 to test for the first root. So here we have 3. And what we are going to do is since we are looking for x and s is taking a fraction, we are going to take the cube of both sides. And by taking the cube of both sides, we are going to have this equals to 3 raised to the power 3. And if 3 negates 3, and uh, we have x equals to 3 raised to the power 3, that is 27. You multiply 3 in 3 times, and that is 27. Here is the first value of x. And let's check for when n equals to negative 2 to see the second value of x. So here we have x raised to the power 3 equals to minus 2. So we apply the same thing we did uh, earlier. So by taking the keep of both sides, and by doing that, we have uh, minus 2 raised to the power 3. This cancel this as well. We have x equals to uh, minus uh, 2 raised to the power 3 can be minus 2 bracket minus 2 bracket minus 2. So that is in 3 times. And here, if you have negative times negative, that is plus. And plus times negative, that is negative. So 2 times 2, that is 4. And 2 times 4 times 2, that is 8. So here, we are going to have negative 8 as the second value of uh of x so here we have x1 equals to 27 and x2 equals to minus 8 and here are the solution for this given equation but let's check if these solutions are equal and from the question x is to the power of 2 over 3 minus x is to the power of 1 over 3 equals 
to uh, minus six equals to zero. And I'm going to check for one, so I'll leave the second one for you. And at x equals to minus uh, x equals to twenty seven. So I'm going to have twenty seven raised to the power of two over three minus twenty seven raised to the power of one over three. Negative six equals to zero. But twenty seven can be three raised to the power of three. And everything is to power two over three minus three is to power three. Everything is to power one over three. And negative six equals to uh, zero. And if this all this cancel, we are going to have nine minus three minus six equals to zero. And here nine minus nine equals to zero, which is correct. And uh, you can check for the second one and drop it in the comment box. So if you have another way of solving this, you can drop it in the comment box. Don't forget the step I use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next